Hey y'all, let's check out Kaleidoscope. Hey y'all. So today the land that we are on is named Kaleidoscope. So today is another as I see it in Second Life. So you will be seeing my cursor make a debut every now and again. So as you go along this path that they have right here, they give you little information on um, the monarch butterfly. And each station has like a little bit more information and different information about the monarch butterfly. And I think that that is so nice and very informational. And did you know that the average lifespan of a monarch is two to three weeks, except for the last generation, the super monarch, which can live eight to nine months. Did y'all know that? Mm -hmm. Did you know it? So, yeah, so it's real, real walkie. It's real, real walky. I, I ain't even gonna lie. So there are gonna be parts where I'm just going to like pop around and then I'm gonna have to meet y'all in a different space, in a different place because it's a lot to walk and I don't think y'all want to walk all of that. I'm just being honest. I don't think y'all wanna walk all that. But yeah, it's very beautiful. Butterflies everywhere i came here a couple times and i really really enjoyed it and now i'm back again to show you guys yes don't go through my head don't go through my head thank you i changed my smoothing but it's still it's still acting stanky dank for me it's a little bit of monarch migration information for you I hope y'all having a wonderful day today and every day, okay? The monarch's antenna function as a clock and sun compass to guide them to their migratory wintering grounds. Shall we proceed? So they got these eagles that you can ride around in like the little space. I rode around on it earlier. It does not have very good control, but we're going we're gonna to make it do what it do. And so then you could just kind of sightsee from an even higher perspective because they know that the land is nice. But you see how much it turned when it needs to turn? It be doing too much. And I don't really like that. So, yeah. This is cute. This is cute. So this is the little eagle. Is it an eagle? Hold up. Hold up. I think it is an eagle. Yeah, it's an eagle. They got this eagle that you can ride around and you can look around. There's somebody else with their eagle. Eagle twins. And then when you're ready, you could either just stand up and fire your ass out the sky. You could have some damn decorum and come back up here on this ledge and then stand up. So they have like a long path that you have to go around. I mean, it's cute. It's real cute when you walk in it because there's a lot of cute places to take pictures. Like I told you, a lot of these places are very picturesque. They they do these lands up so well. It's just amazing. This is really beautiful but, uh, butterfly. Butterflies are beautiful, but this really beautiful waterfall. I love the sounds in that cell. I just love them. So this land was made up very beautifully. I do love the path, but it is a bit long um, to me for a video because it's kind of seeing the same thing over and over again. And I do want y'all to be looking at different things, you know, at different times and stuff like that. So oh, let me do a little outfit check for y'all real quick, real quick, real quick. Y'all work with me. I don't, I don't know how this going to work out. Let me see. Am I going to be able to get a good angle? It's okay. I want y'all to be able to get a good view. You know. So this is my outfit of the day. This was, you know, as y'all have may have noticed, I'm starting to dress um, based on, like, the theme of the Sam that we go on. Oh, that was too much. Based on the, a theme of, the theme of the Sam that we go on. I can't talk today. So I'm trying to do my best with that. Y'all, excuse me for these angles. But... This happy sometimes and when I be in second life. Nah. Angles be a little off. Hold up, cursor. I need you. 
I need your cursor. So these are the shoes. I thought they were very, very cute for the um, day. I like that they have like that iridescent vibe to them with the little butterflies on them. I'm like, yeah, I like that. That's real cute, real cute. So yeah, you guys, so this is my outfit for today. I want to get some, y'all may have noticed or may not have noticed, because y'all probably be like, we don't know what she is, what she got going on, and that's okay. But y'all, I made my eyebrows real light because I want some white eyebrows, but I can't find no white eyebrows. I said, why y'all ain't got no white eyebrows? That's crazy. And can y'all believe my hair is not even the whitest white? No, it's not. It's not. So let's have a seat. I really love their furniture. You get to see like the interface too. So uh, most of the stuff in Second Life, this is a little baby tutorial for y'all. Most of the stuff in Second Life you can sit on. Hold up, let me turn around so I'm looking at y'all. And then we'll get rid of this box. Okay. So most of the stuff, hold on. Oh, okay, cursor. You you didn't get enough airtime. What's happening? So most of the stuff in Second Life you can sit on. You're gonna right click and sit on your mouse. Uh you would click the, the right button and you would sit on your iPad, not your yeah, your uh laptop. You gonna however you would right click and sit you, that's how you would right click and sit. And it gives you like menus like what you want to do and stuff like that. And everything has like menus with different animations. Some have more in animations than the others, but all of them have animations. And so like if a lot of people I be seeing a lot of videos about people of, of people who haven't come to uh they they're not on sl yet and they always ask like i don't know how to do sl i don't know how to play sl if you can right click and sit and click on stuff let what is it the left click if you can left click on stuff and right click and sit on stuff then you could be you could be an sl if you could look up playground or community or church and search you can you could be you could be on sl it's not difficult. It looks difficult because they have it so made up. I mean, it, it is, it's intimidating to a lot of people because it was intimidating to me. They got a lot of little sitting spaces. Come on. We ain't gonna spend too much time here. It was intimidating to me, but it's not, it's not an intimidating place at all. And it's very easy to understand how to, um, how to use it. So I definitely recommend the people who want to come on, just come on and, and, and see, you know, oh, they got a little, look at all of these butterflies, y'all. So cute. Then they got a little sitting area over here. I love exploring SL. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I, you know what? I get the whole family thing and stuff like that. But when I tell you, I love me um a good exploration. I love to just explore SL, just be going to all different type of places, seeing people's creativity. Because once again, this was somebody made this couch. And then somebody made animations to go in a couch. And then somebody knew how to make a script to put in the animations to go in a couch. When I tell you, it goes it goes on and on and on, the creativity of these people. So they make places like this that are super duper cute. They are super duper cute. They have so many cute little sitting spaces. So many spaces to take pictures at and stuff like that. Oh, you got the little butterfly in her hand. So many cute places to take pictures and to cuddle. I do feel like even though you can be here solo dolo, this really is a couple's type land, in my opinion. This really is a land where they made it for couples. You know, y'all know I love you know I love a swing. I feel like they made it for couples to come and chill out. And I don't, I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. I, I don't feel like 
they ever have to make anything specifically for single people because it's a lot of people in that cell that are in relationships. I know that there are people that are single, but they don't be single long enough um, to be like, I'm glad that they, they have single places in Second Life. Like, no, these people, one thing about them, they're going to be in a relationship. They're going to be in a relationship. So I'm trying to see if I can get y'all a better view. When I be sitting on stuff, my things don't work. They don't work the same. Y'all see these? Look at all them butterflies. All of them butterflies. So pretty. When I first came here, I didn't realize that that's what was on the the trees. I was like, what is this on here? I'm thinking that these are like autumn leaves that don't fail. I'm like, why would they make them fall like that? That's like the, a weird way for them to fall. Then I zoomed in. I was like, oh. That's not that. That's not, those are not leaves. Those are butterflies. Yes. So this is super pretty, y'all. Yes. Very nice for pictures and all of that stuff. Even if you just want like a background picture. Because I know sometimes people just want a little, you know, you want a little cute little one, two buckle my shoe. And you just want a cute little overall picture. You're going to get it here. You definitely going to get it here. So, like I said, they have a lot of sitting areas. This is, is very coupley. It's very coupley. They'll have something like this where you can sit on it, where it look like one person can sit on it, but it probably got a it probably got a damn couples menu on it. Let me see. Sit here. Couples menu, yeah. I mean, but they made this is something that you can be all of the stuff that you you could sit on as single or couples. But I'm just talking about really like the vibe of this place. Everything is kind of set up for you to be here with somebody but they do have like standalone stuff like this they'll have like little standalone stuff because they they know people do come to places like this by themselves but most of the time mm -mm, not most of the time people be in relationships living their best life and i love it for them I do look at this water and y'all know what's so crazy I can never get the quality that's in SL I can never get it to come uh correctly to YouTube I'm still working on it I'm still working on it I don't know I upload my stuff in 4k it'd be 2160 I'm like do I need to go higher than that I don't want to go higher than that it's going to take way too long for the stuff to download. I don't want to go. I don't want to go higher than that. And I don't feel like I should have to go higher than that for it, for me to get the quality. It's not going to be this clear. So however y'all see it, when y'all see these videos, the clarity is actually at least five times better. Oh, those are pretty. Those are some pretty flowers they have. The quality is about five times better. And that's what really grinds my gears. Because if you're going to let me use it, let me use it. Now, at first, I wasn't, I wasn't doing it in the right settings. And I got that. But I didn't realize that until I did it in the higher settings. I said, oh, so I thought it was just SL wasn't processing my stuff. But that, that wasn't the case. Um, it was the whole issue of me not having it in the right resolution for the graphics this couch is nice but i don't really like the um and i have this i do believe i do believe i don't know if i've been doing a good job keeping my curse out of the way it's i'm a work in progress i don't really like these animations i had went through these animations and i'm like i feel like i have this couch but i maybe don't have it i might have one that just look like it but I wasn't, I wasn't Joe vibing with this couch. I don't know what them seats do. I ain't even, I ain't even want to look. I said, I don't, I don't even care no more. I don't even care. Y'all don't piss me off with this couch. Oh, I just hit the mic. I hit the mic every time. It's probably, it's probably going to still be happening. So excuse me every time. We got a little cappuccino espresso maker with some tea. Some iced tea, the little beautiful tree in the back. Like I said, 
this is a, a beautiful Sam to come to, you know, whether you're coming alone or with somebody. But if you're coming with somebody, know that there's definitely going to be some space for you and your friends to be able to chill out and vibe. This is a very walky Sam. So be aware of that. Be mindful of that when you walk and just know that you could be walking for a little bit. It's going to be beautiful, but you're going to be walking for a little bit. And that's okay. That's absolutely, absolutely a okay. Thank y'all as always for tuning in and catching a vibe with me. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>